So, Yankees fans, January 3rd passed by. Then we had Heyman really drop a bomb on Yankees fans' heads, saying that um, the Yankees haven't offered Machado a contract yet. But, Yankees fans, I'm here to save the day, okay? Here's what I was specifically told maybe over a month now, and that was confirmed a few days ago. Here's the hold of what Machado. Here's the honest to God truth. From what I've been told, the Yankees have let it be known to Machado and his camp to give them more time to confirm if they're able to dump salary, let's say in Ellsbury, let's say, you know, that other guy that triggers Yankees fans, so I'm not even going to say his name. They want to stay under the luxury tax and his contract specifically is going to look like He's going to make the minimum per season, then it's going to skyrocket, maybe close to $40 million per season, then drop back down. This gives the Yankees the opportunity to sign free agents like Britain, etc. And also gives the Yankees the chance to obviously sign Manny Machado and stay under the luxury tax. Here's why you don't need to worry, Yankees fans. Every MLB insider writer, etc., has Manny Machado comes to the Yankees. John Heyman, in my opinion, he is a clout chaser. I specifically asked him over the summer if the Nationals continue to lose, if they would become sellers. When I was going around saying that they would, he flat out told me no. As we all know, the Nationals became sellers. And even close, they even traded uh, Harper. But we all know the Dodgers messed that up for other teams. So, Yankees fans, I will take what Heyman said with a grain of salt. I think his intentions were to rain on the Yankees fans' parade because Yankees fans were going around saying, no, Yankees are going to sign Machado today, January 3rd. Babe Ruth was purchased this day. George Steinbrenner bought the Yankees this day. And even the Yankees drafted Aaron Judge or had the opportunity to draft Aaron Judge this day. So, really, in my opinion, he was just clout chasing Yankees fans, and he wanted the attention to himself because other riders were taking the spotlight away from him. Now, Yankees fans, to reassure you that the Yankees are engaged with Manny Machado and want to sign him, a Manny Machado signing has so many benefits. For instance, you could use a chip to include Ellsbury in and rid yourself of Ellsbury. You could also use that chip to go after pitching. There's so many options that the Yankees have positive with a Manny Machado signing. Obviously, the Yankees are going to dump Gray, salary dump. They're going to dump Ellsbury. And they're going to use a chip like Induhar to get something of value in return. Meanwhile, dumping salary to not only make Manny Machado possible and other players possible. And if you want to go to the extreme, if the Dodgers are left out, I even uh, wrote an article yesterday that John Carlos Stanton for them makes the best sense. And you can check that out on nynews.com. Why am I saying that? Because Bryce Harper has made it be known that he's willing to return to the Nationals because he really doesn't want to play for the Chicago White Sox or the Philadelphia Phillies. So the Yankees have a great opportunity to snoop in there and convince Harper, hey, take less years. We're going to be a World Series championship caliber team. We just signed Panchado, etc. So that's not far-fetched. Now, if some reason the Yankees do not get Machado, which I am confirming they are 100% engaged with Machado. But let's say the Yankees don't get Harper or Machado. Specifically, if the Yankees blunder on Machado, that's really going to be one of the biggest PR disasters ever for the New York Yankees. Ever. I won't blame Cashman for that. It's really going to fall on Hal Steinbrenner. His reputation with Yankees fans is going to be completely shattered. I don't know how he could recover from that. So percentage-wise, Manny to the Yankees has a high possibility of happening. The positives outweigh the negatives. And like I said, I know because I've been told what I've been told. Again, to boost the confidence of the Yankees fans, Cashman hasn't traded Gray yet. Cashman hasn't traded Ellsbury yet. Cashman hasn't traded Andujar yet. When you see those moves being made, 
expect the announcement for Manny Machado to come. I see no other reason why the Yankees would make moves like that if they're not planning to dump salary and stay on the luxury tax with intentions to sign Manny Machado. It's eventually going to happen, folks. These writers out here trying to play in people's emotions, trying to create chaos. So, you guys, fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from m1news.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you all next time.